Sunland Park and Santa Teresa residents continue dealing with persistent water problems. The New Mexico Environment Department now urges the state's Department of Justice to investigate the Camino Real Regional Utility Authority. CBS 4 at 10's Jacqueline Quinones is in the newsroom to let you know what New Mexico's Lieutenant Governor says could soon follow. The New Mexico Environmental Department has requested an investigation into the water company for Sunland Park in Santa Teresa. The Lieutenant Governor spoke with us exclusively today, saying that there's more going on at the state level. Now that we know that there's more going on, residents we spoke with say they hope something changes. Recently, within the last couple months, I would say late last year, the water was coming out undrinkable, brown, yellow. Even when you flush it, it looks like somebody just peed. This neighbor, who didn't want to be identified on camera, says that just two days ago, her water looked like this. She says even though her water appears to look better today, she says it is constantly changing. We don't feel safe drinking it at all or using it for anything. But sometimes you have to shower in that water because there's no other choice. Last week, the New Mexico Environmental Department sent a letter to New Mexico Department of Justice urging them to investigate the utility. Uh, we recognize that the Department of Justice has been notified to look and see from the consumer protections uh, aspect of it, of how people have been impacted. But today, we tracked down the lieutenant governor at an unrelated event. We asked how long the state has been aware of the problem and why it's taken so long to even get to this point. So we just came out of legislative session, uh, continue to work with the environment department to let the people know that we are taking this seriously, regardless of the part of state or the region that it's in, uh, all of New Mexico matters, every New Mexican matters. Lieutenant Governor Howie Morales said the state became aware of the problem in December. He also told us they're now looking into other issues that have been brought up with CRUA, even if they can't take over the utility as some residents have asked for them to do. And then those attorneys that are representing these people, they were calling on the governor to issue an emergency order and seize operations of CRUA. Um, is that something that you think needs to happen as well? Yeah, well, under state law, the state is prohibited from coming in to, to take over CRUA, but we can assess sanctions as we've done. Uh, we're uh, ready to provide technical support and at the same time provide enforcement as necessary to make sure that people are safe. The lieutenant governor also told us that the governor is being updated on the situation and they will be planning a visit very soon. Meanwhile, we reached out to CRUA to get an update on this investigation and we're still waiting to hear back. Reporting in the newsroom, Jacqueline Quinones, CBS 4 at 10.